All right, look, I was not planning on doing this. I wasn't. But after going online yesterday, seeing the reactions, people's thoughts, analyzing it, and just the overall consensus, I, I have to make a follow-up video to the trade yesterday with the Devils and the Golden Knights, where the Devils sent Alexander Holtz and Akira Schmidt to Vegas in exchange for Paul Calder and... Uh, the the draft pick is whatever. Let's be real. It's a fucking draft pick. All right. But listen. Relax. Calm. Oh, Fitzgerald should be fired. Oh, my God. That's what he gets for Holtz. Oh, he should be on the hot seat. What is this guy doing? Oh. What is this guy doing? What the hell are you doing? If you've been paying any attention at all to the moves the Devils have been making since the draft on Friday, the draft pick Saturday, the trade, what we're rumored to be getting on Monday, tomorrow in free agency, you should have saw this coming a mile away. And ever since Fitzgerald's, po uh, Fitzgerald's post uh, end of season press conference too. You can take it all the way back to that. The Devils released a video Friday morning of Fitzgerald and his team somewhere in Vegas talking about who they want to draft. And Fitzgerald said this, I want to draft hockey players, guys that know the game, not the flashy stuff, not the we, we have all that. That is set. Now we need to actually get the backbone of any good hockey team. Look at Florida and what they just did to win the Stanley Cup. Look at what Carolina's been doing for years down there and how they've owned us. You can't just have all flash and skill. It needs to be a fine balance. And what better time to do it than now? Fitzgerald is gutting the bottom six. It's going to be completely different come September, October. We need to get actual defensive defensemen on the back end. And the injuries didn't help last year, obviously, and we were playing two rookies on top line minutes. But, you know, you need to get guys that actually can defend. All right? Now the Marino trade... Devils have a move and play for Brett Pesci, all right? It's, I, I've been told, if the insiders are saying it, it's pretty much a lock at this point. Brett Pesci will be a devil this time tomorrow, about this time tomorrow. It's about a half hour away from noon, but nevertheless. All right, so the Marino trade, whatever, Utah was looking to rebuild theirs, and it's good. They gave us a second round pick, and we didn't have a second round pick. So, there you go. We drafted a goaltender with it. I don't know anything about the guy. <laughs> um, but listen. People were begging for toughness, you know, big guys, you know. We needed those type of guys. But we finally do it, and people are like, ah! What? What's the problem? There's no problems with the trade. The trade is fine. Holtz just didn't work out. It is what it is. It, 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 here's, I said it yesterday. I have no problems with the trade and nobody should. The problem I have is that we just failed to develop this guy. We selected seventh overall and there was a couple other guys we could have taken in his place and they could have helped us now. That's it. All right. We swung and missed. All right. What are you going to do? He's still 22 years old. All right. Vegas could turn him into something. And you're saying, oh, he could have done that here. Where is he going to fit on this team? Tell me. Where is he going to fit? Jack, Brett, uh, Timo on the top line. Nico, Mar Mercer. Um, i trying to think who would be on that second line. Maybe the Devils get someone. <laughs> I 
I think, I mean, I know he probably won't be a second lineup, but Palat, you know, the top six is pretty much filled. And he ain't a third or fourth line guy. I'm sorry he ain't. It sucks. I feel bad for him. Believe me. Because he got screwed over by bad coaching. It, it is what it is. All right. I'm disappointed that it didn't work out. But you have to look for the better of the team at this point. And that's what Tom Fitzgerald said when breaking down the trade. Holtz was odd man out. And his value was not getting any bigger at the time of trade yesterday. It just wasn't. Because he probably would have been traded at the trade deadline. Nobody wanted him then. This guy is going to be just fine for us. I, I, I've been talking with Vegas Golden Knights fans. They're telling me you're going to love him. And he's exactly what this team needs. He can be a pest. We need pests on this team. So Alexander Holtz, it just it didn't work out. Maybe Vegas can turn him into something. Schmidt, on the other hand, again, the same thing. You look at the depth chart of this Devils team. Markstrom, Allen, Nico Dawes, Tyler Brennan is now in that fourth spot. He'll be a backup in Utica this year. Where's Nico Dawes fitting in all this? This is showing, basically... I, 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 not Nico Dawes, uh, Schmidt, excuse me. This trade is showing that Tom Fitzgerald is saying, look, I don't think these guys are going to make it. As much as we have our thoughts and opinions about them, he believes these guys aren't going to be a part of the future of the team. Whether they actually would have or not, that is the question. But he's playing this like his job is on the line. And he knows it, too. Because if this is another bad year coming out, he's out the fucking door and he knows it. I do not. It, 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 I'm not mad at the moves. I'm just disappointed looking at it and seeing, oh, okay, we had this guy. We drafted him. We could have developed him. That's it. That's all this is. People are overreacting way too much. It, it, again, yes, it sucks. A guy's seventh overall and you had to trade him. It is what it is. Happens to prospects all the time. Not everyone is going to hit. So, look. We'll see what happens tomorrow in free agency, but people need to fucking relax. All right? Because I'm seeing shit yesterday. Fucking the... Oh, God. I don't think Fitzgerald is a bad GM. I don't. I don't get where this narrative comes from that the dude is bad. Does he make moves that don't work out? Yes. Look at the Toffoli trade last year. Guy nearly got 30 goals for us, and they still shipped him out at the trade deadline because it obviously, obviously the team wasn't going to make the playoffs, you know, and he was, had one year left on his contract, so send him on a team that think they can. But the trade on paper was fine. He made the moves. Sometimes they just don't execute out on the ice. This is why I'm excited for what is coming forward. You're bringing in a new coach. Fresh face. Guy who struggled with Toronto come playoff time, all right? Now, whether that's him or the team itself remains to be seen. We'll see what both teams go uh, their ways. Now, the Devils don't have a Matthews, a Marner, a Nylander, you know, the blah, 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 the core guys up there in Toronto. But this is still a young team, man. It, this team just needs to get playoff experience. That's what it is. Playoff experience under their belts. 
how far they will go needs to be seen. But once this team starts building themselves up and becoming a playoff team every year, then you can get the ball rolling on becoming a Stanley Cup winner. All right? You're bringing him Jacob Markstrom, 35 years old. All right? But still a top 10 goalie in the league last year. So we'll see what happens. Jake Allen will now have a full year under his belt here in Jersey. And look at the way he was performing down the stretch for us. Jake the Snake. All right. Dougie's coming back. Jack will be fully healthy. The injuries really fucked this team last year. All right. They really did. So when you're bringing in everyone fully healthy and you got all these pieces. I think it's going to be a fun year. I really do. But there are expectations now that need to be made. So, shipping out guys, and who knows what was going on behind the scenes with these guys anyway. I was hearing things about Marino, and, you know, Holtz's Holt's confidence was probably fucking shot, let's be honest with you, the way Lindy treated him. But again, I just don't, I didn't, I don't see a way Holtz would have fit on this team moving forward, playing him where he needs to be. Again, he ain't a third or fourth line guy. He ain't. No room. All right? So, let's all relax. Take a deep breath. See what Fitzgerald does tomorrow when free agency begins at noon. And we'll go from there. All right? Less than 100 days until opening night in Prague. Or technically the afternoon here in Jersey because it's overseas and... Time difference, so. Alright. So, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Trevor. If any signings happen tomorrow, I will break them down as fast as I can. I, Monday's usually my busy day, so. I might be out and about when making the videos, so. If I have to chunk them together, I will. But, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow, alright? So, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. My name is Trevor, and I will see you for the next one.